Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are headed out off the farm. Today is restock day for oh, all of our animal food. Restock day primarily means that we have to go to several different stores to get everything that we need. But when we get back, I have a very exciting project. So I love to buy my chicken food at this store because it costs the same as our local store. It's a bigger bag and they have a reward program. So if you buy 10 bags, you get one free. Sophie always finds exciting things that she can give to the chickens in this store. Well, they're supposed to love mealworms. Oh, they have a ton of different fencing options here. What do you want it for? Like, what would it be good for? Chickens. Oh, you think this would be good for like the little tiny baby silky? Close this if you don't. It's too cold. Mm, I want to move them in with our big silkies. Literally, don't know what any of this stuff is. What the heck is a cackle box? It's a cackle box. It's one hundred and thirty dollars for this cackle box. Definitely don't need a cane. So I like the really big waterers. We have like that size. So we have like a five gallon one. We really need a seven, like a bigger one. But I find that this gets dirty, even though I keep it up on blocks, it gets dirty long before our five gallon one empties. Yes. They have this stuff called stall dry. Shopping for food for our animals always makes me happy. Black oil sunflower seeds, which are really good for your horses. I wanna try and lift this. It's $45. One bag is forty five dollars. Saddle pad for Villa. You have to buy this one. Oh my goodness! It's a cooler. It's to keep them cool during the summer. It's a cool blanket. I love that. It's adorable. So what I do need to buy is some more of this. You can never have too much of this. So this one is actually multi, Very this is cute. rainbow. That's adorable. All right, so this is not pink, but it's really nice. And it has a top that I could like, I like it. I might want this for Christmas because I could keep all my new tools in it. I like it. And it's on wheels. And I can store everything in here. All right, this might be the one. It has a handle and it pushes. It's so nice. Also, my purse beeps every time I go into a store. And the lady behind the counter, she de, de beeped it. She scanned it for me so that it won't beep anymore. How are you doing? What? How are you doing? Gabby has a bad cold. I don't. <laughs> Gabby has a, a good cold. <laughs> Gabby's first cold. She never gets cold. Well, she, I if, always get cold. If she's going to get sick, she'll get a cold. She doesn't get anything else ever. She just gets a cold. But the chickens are gonna first one of the season. Yeah. It's not the first one of the season. I've had one before. Got mealworms. Got some mealworms. The chickens are going to love her, she says. That's a big bag. The last bag we got that was just tiny. So we have been giving the the chickens treats every time we come out of the house so they get used to us being out there and they're not scared and they've been really good about it they've been really loving it so we got some mealworms did you see that black box toolbox black toolbox yeah i love it it's got a countertop on it it's got perfect spot for all my new tools like my hammer my screwdriver and all the things i want for christmas sure. i love it it's not pink but it's nice Next stop, dollar store. I feel bad we left and let Sam pay for everything. I wanted to try this lint brush for Gabby's uniforms because they get a lot of lint on them. Last stop, tax store, because we have to get shavings here. What's a trough rock? I bet you it's to keep troughs from getting uh, gross, but I don't know. Ugh, it just says trough that? rocks. I don't know. What the heck are trough rocks, you guys? Oh, let's see. Let's put rocks in the bag. I think it's to prevent LG and move tank. Oh, submerge trough rocks the whole bank into the water. Replace in four months. It's for LG. Thoroughly before adding. 
rocks. Oh. I mean. So a bunch of rocks. It looks like. Uh, it looks like charcoal. Yeah. Looks like charcoal. Yeah. So I've put stuff in our trough before to keep it clean, and it didn't work. Yeah, we did. We like, had that bag that one time. No, yeah. These are actually rocks. Yeah. What? We got lots of rocks in our house. We got rocks. <laughs> I just throw rocks in the bag and throw it in the trough. I don't actually like these. Sophie said I would like these, but they're like warm. So even though like I'm not this kind of a girl, these look so warm, and I could just be cozy on my front porch this fall. So we found some boots that we're gonna try on. It took a lot of finding to find these boots. I just don't know if they're gonna fit. I think they're the same size as her other ones. So these boots were too small on her foot. So she needs an up, a size up, hopefully. We're gonna try another size. All right, we're just trying these for size. They won't fit your calves, but just foot size. Yeah, these will fit better. All right, but not your calf? These are only a regular calf, so I figured they probably- These are on sale for 60 bucks. So the reason I don't, I'm trying to like talk myself out of it, but the reason I don't like them, I'm gonna try one on, is that they're sh this kind of, of shirt is always made kind of short, and I'm really tall bodied. I don't know if you guys can see it in the mirror. Um, it's long and it would fit me. It's actually really big on me. I want to try it on. All right. <laughs> this is a $700 wheelbarrow. I want it. It's not my priority right now, but after Chino is better, I really want that. It actually looks really cute, Sophie. I love it. It's I know, it's puffy. And I, I kind of like that. If I got like a different color, I don't know. I'm torn between liking these and not liking them, but 60 bucks is a really good price. But when you wa also when you wash them, they okay. shrink up. So last week I called them and asked them if they had a certain size in that boot because it's a really good priced boot and it's half synthetic and half leather. It's like one of the nicer synthetic kind of uh, boots. So I called and I asked them. They I noticed that they had that size at their other store. So she brought she had it shipped down here. For us, so we wanted to go in and try them for Sophie because she needs new boots. We've been looking and looking and looking. It's really difficult to order them online, especially if you have big feet. We definitely need to be able to try them on. So she just tried them on. They don't fit, but they had a bigger size without the wide calf. And so she tried on the bigger side. The bigger size is probably going to work in her foot. So she's going to order us a pair in the bigger calf and hopefully they're gonna work out. So these these particular boots are actually going around in our neighborhood, in our area. A lot of people are getting them because they're one of the nicer synthetic because they're half leather, half synthetic. And even the girl that was helping us, she said that that's, she just grew out of her boots and she is gonna get that pair too. She had Ariats like I have Ariats and she's getting that kind so. Cross your fingers, friends. <laughs> Cross your fingers that Sophie's boots are, Sophie will finally get a pair of boots that fit. We pulled up to the barn to unload. <laughs> we got out and the chickens are here. <laughs> it's the first time they've ever wandered this far. Just maybe put some on the ground for her. They like them better than the other ones. Meet you again. She's like, wow, all for me? Here, Barbara. Just drop them. So I have to take all that stuff down to the goat barn and then I have to put the chicken food in with the chickens. And today I'm hoping to finish up my little cabinet here so I can move all my first aid stuff over there. Every day I walk by this and I think, what could we make? What could we make? Well, today is the day that we are gonna make something and I'm excited to show you guys what it is. Comment below what you think it is, what you think it's gonna be. It's plywood, a bunch of two by fours, a bunch of leftover stuff that we haven't used yet. We're gonna make it into something super exciting today. Another thing that we got today, duct tape. Tons of duct tape. Your goose has been pooping in our barn. The goose has been pooping in the barn? Well, look at it. Is it goose poop or chicken poop? Have you actually seen the geese out here? It's chicken poop. Imagine a time when we come out and they're like sitting on the couch. <laughs> yeah. We better close the door. <laughs> they're out there. They're still looking. Everywhere we go, they go. That's one thing I never expected. I never like really understood 
how much all of our animals were going to be so attached to us and need us for keeping them safe. The chickens won't go anywhere unless we're there to make sure we're, they're safe. The chicken and the goose won't go anywhere unless we're there. Like they want to go to this one section of the grass to eat it. I need to like go tie them over there for the daytime. But that would mean moving their pool. Just lays there half in and half out. <laughs> You're the silliest dog. The only one that doesn't care that much about us is Penny. She only has eyes for him. He's her love. I You're, oh uh, no. Richie knows. Get rid of those bugs. Penny loves him. I'm working on it, Penny. One day, I'm hoping you guys will be together. We're working on it. Has anybody seen Ellie? What a good boy. It's crazy you can be this sick and still be this shiny. The weight gain is so slow, it's shocking to me. Like. He eats so much. I know, he's dusty. <laughs> he likes to lay down. And he loves all the attention that he gets every day, huh? But I don't know, guys. It feels to me like we stalled somewhere. We all take a part in his care. We all try to spend time with him and brush him and take him for walks. And especially now that Gabby's at school. I'm working on my shelf. I'm going to do a big reveal. Wow! You're fast when we don't bug you! Uh, I don't know yeah, we're probably not gonna finish this today, but this is it so far. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Something that I'm gonna need and something that I need now to to work on. I love it. Do you see it still? Do you see it? Well guess who escaped. Willow? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, Sophie and I saw a hawk. We think it's a hawk. And it was just, it was just circling. And then, of course, who do you think it was like zoning in on? Ellie. I'm always telling Ellie, run, Ellie, run. The duck actually likes these. The duck actually likes the little things, worm thingies that, that Sophie bought She's for the chickens. Them. She's eating them? Yeah. We bought some new stuff to add to the duck and goose food today, too. I am trying to clean out this paddock because I always worry about the dogs eating Chino's poo because he's on so much awful medication. So I try and keep this cleaned up a couple times a day, but man, he poops a lot. So I also wanted to give you guys an update on how this little feeder thing is working. It's so good because we keep it underneath here. It doesn't get wet. Not that it's rained. It doesn't get wet. She can only kind of reach and he loves it it keeps everything dry and fresh and he likes it better than eating it off the ground to be honest he's literally looking in the bottom for the chaff that's how much he likes chaff he likes what he likes man <laughs> the screws. so you have to finish it later yeah. all right well let's take a look at it wait a second here yeah it's supposed to yeah that's it found these plants online for this we'll flip it over in just a second and show you guys it won't be finished today because we need to get more screws i was gonna say you should get screws when we were out today yeah, why you? i should have he looks good building stuff too doesn't he flip it over so we can show them what it's going to be Chicken. so it's not finished he has one more like yeah, a brace and a couple more cross pieces here so we have just a little bit left to build but it's going to be our what is it <laughs> come on sophie uh -huh. it's going to be our milking stand stand so uh this will close up and there'll be like a bucket of grain there'll be a little shelf two, out here two two by fours here a little bucket of grain and then they put their head in there and you close it off. Yeah, so we need to get a couple things. What do we need to get? Uh, lots of screws and hooks. Lots of screws and, and some hooks. hooks. And what's the other thing? So that One bolt probably. A bolt. So that's all we need to get. We should put it in the barn so that it doesn't get wet. Uh, so the plywood that he used has this uh, tarp stuff on top of it. And I kind of like it. It'd be easier to wash. If it doesn't work out, I can just rip it off. But I think you did a really good job. 
I love it. So he needs to put one more of these things on the other side. Let's sit on it. Oh, it holds me. It didn't fall. Nope. Uh, I love it. It took him 20 minutes to make. I asked him if he'd make it and he's like, Laura, I found one online. It cost $200. Let's just go get it. And I'm like, no, we have all this stuff. I have to, we need to pick up all this, this wood and put it away anyways. So why not let just, why not let's just make one. 20 minutes later, we have a half finished one. Save some of those for tomorrow, Sophie. They're still like- <laughs> They're all coming. I know, but that's enough. If you change any animal's diet too quickly, it can make them sick. All is here, you guys. It is here, it is a gorgeous fall day. You can so barely see the horses out there. I only see three of them. Where's Gracie? She's up at the top by the fence. Up at the top. There's still a ton of really nice grass in here that we will use for October probably. <laughs> What's wrong, babies? The two babies are in the lead. What's wrong? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They came running, screaming. <laughs> Last night I dreamed that this girl has th had three babies. My friend thinks she's too narrow to have ba three babies though. Her mom was a triplet. Don't you know that you're beautiful?